Hey everyone, I wanted to go ahead and uh, take a look at the Spider ETF and uh, discuss an observation that I made. Um, this is the monthly chart and uh, we can see here that we've been consolidating for the last uh, eight months or so. And I wanted to go ahead and look back at, in the chart and see if there were similar periods of consolidation and see what was the result at the end of that consolidation. So I'm going to go ahead and share that observation with you in this video. Uh, the, before doing that, I wanted to go ahead and talk about uh, the seven month moving average. Uh, as you can see here, uh, when this bull rally began, uh, price pretty much stayed above the seven month moving average. We've had a few times where we uh, poked below the seven month moving average, but for the most part, we closed above the average. Uh, which shows that you know uh, price w there was a lot of strength uh, in the market. Now in October here, uh, we had a significant pullback, well below the seven month moving average, but we've closed right above it uh, by the end of the month. But clearly that that this significant move was the first sign that maybe perhaps something is going on. Uh, now we actually have here in January uh, the first time that we actually closed below the moving average. Now typically the first time you close below it you might have a rally back up which we did uh, but as you can see we've been slowly just hanging above the seven month moving average. We've had resistance here in the 212, 213 area and from the Greek uh, issue uh, we finally had a breakdown and a close below the seven month moving average uh, for the month of June. So we've had this huge spike here. We've had this close below. Uh, we had really, really tight consolidation and then a second break below the seven month moving average. So it'll be interesting to see what happens this month if we continue lower. Uh, if we break the low of last month, which was, uh, let's see here, 205.28, most likely we're going to be retesting the bottom of this consolidation period. So more interestingly, I wanted to go look into the past to see what would happen, what, what has happened uh, when the index consolidated for a period of uh, eight to nine months uh, you know, uh, following a huge run up in the index. So if we go back in history here, uh, the first instance was this massive bull rally here uh, from you know, 95 to 2000, about a five year rally here. We had a major 264% move. Uh, and we ended up at this point where the market consolidated. This was, this was the dot com bust, beginning of the dot com bust. Uh, it was a intraday, it was trading at a 16% range, uh, top, uh, bottom to top. Uh, but the opening and closing range was a lot tighter at 9% 9, 9 the market consolidated for 9 months here and so after a 264% move uh, it broke out of this consolidation to the downside and we had a drawdown of about 50% now from this drawdown we had a big move of 105% from here to here and then we had another period of consolidation here uh, for eight months. Uh, the intraday trading range was about 16%. Uh, the open and closing range was a lot tighter, 7%. And um, after it broke down out of this consolidation period, we had a drawdown of about 58%. Uh, now we're looking at the current period. We had this massive bull rally, about 220%. Uh, gain since uh, 2009, February of 2009. And here we are. Uh, I hit the text a little bit, but here we are. Uh, the open and closing range was a, is, has been about 7 or 8%. Uh, we are currently in the eighth month of consolidation. This consolidation follows a 220% move. So we have very similar statistics uh, to the previous instances. So it wouldn't be surprising if we continue lower here and broke this level and then we would see a significant market correction. 
uh, in the previous instances we had 50% type corrections so uh, something to be keep in mind doesn't mean it's going to happen but you have to make the observation and keep it in your mind the level that that the bottom of this consolidation period is 197.50 to 197.80 ish so you want to keep that level in your mind and if we head down this way and we break it uh, chances are we could probably see a significant down, uh, you know drop in the market so that's just an observation I made uh, wanted to show it to you guys and uh, let you guys decide for yourself um, now if the market went went ahead and broke above this consolidation uh, it would be extremely bullish but most likely as history has shown us uh, we may be looking at a more serious uh, correction this year so that's it if you like this video click on the like button or if you would like to subscribe to my channel click on the subscribe channel below the video thank you